a very good afternoon. Uh, selamat tengah hari. Jadi hari ini kita akan buat ulang kaji alright, untuk uh, uh, topik keseimbangan. Alright, look at this question. Okay, uh, chapter is post equilibrium. Okay, so you will see that uh, we have a traffic light. Okay, this particular question. Alright, we have a traffic light. You notice that being hung. Alright, uh, at an angle 60 degree as shown. Alright, uh, this is uh, a traffic light that is hanging there using two strings. So the question is asking you calculate the tension. Right, so lah meminta mencari kita kata ketegangan kabel tersebut. Alright, jadi untuk mencari ketegangan kabel kita dapati bahawa, alright, we need to use, uh, alright, we need to use this uh, equilibrium. Okay, so what we do is 60 degree here. Alright, this 60 degree here, I'm going to, I'm going to use this drawing. Okay, so in other words, I'm going to make use of this triangle. Okay, saya akan leraikan, okay, leraikan segi tiga tu kepada segi tiga kat sini. Okay, you will be able to see that. So 60 degree there, alright, will actually be shown, okay, alright, will actually be shown here, 60 degree, okay, will be shown here, alright, 60 degree here, alright, and also the 60 degree will be similar to this 60 degree here, alright, so you'll be able to see the 60 degree, so I draw the triangle there and we know we have the tension, the tension here and the tension here. So, so I will draw okay, using this diagram. Gunakan gambar raja ini. Ya. So, okay, we leraikan. Okay. Jadi kita leraikan gunakan, kalau kita nak cari Fx, if you want to look for Fx, we are going to use cos. Is that correct? So you will be at cos 60 degree equivalent to, remember cos? All right. It will be sebelahan. All right, and this uh, perpendicular, you know? over perpendicular. So it will be fx over, okay, fx over t. You know? So when you cross multiply, your fx is going to be a t cos 60 degree. Okay, huh? then we're going to look at fy. Lepas tu kita tengok fy pula. All right, so fy, I probably use other color. All right, kita tengok fy. Huh? Jadi fy, Kalau kita nak cari FY, adik akan dapati bahawa kita sebenarnya menggunakan sine. Alright, in English we use the word, okay, okay sine, okay. Sine 60 degree equivalent to FY, okay, equivalent to FY over T. So what I do now is when I cross multiply my FY equivalent to, alright, T sine 60 degree. Okay, so what I do now is, okay, kita tengok, senang sahaja. Alright, lepas itu saya akan leraikan, saya akan pakai Fy. So you notice that when I lerai, I have Fy here, I have Fx here. Betul? Alright, I have Fy here, I will have Fx here. Alright, and the other side also. Okay, the other side, sebelah lagi satu, saya pecahkan ada dua juga. Alright, saya juga ada Fx dan saya juga ada Fy. Alright, okay. So for your calculation, you don't bother about fx. Why you don't bother about fx? Simple, because your fx on the left cancel the fx on the right. Okay, jadi kita abaikan fx. Alright, fx sebelah kanan akan okay cancel off ke fx sebelah kiri supaya dia seimbang. Okay, uh, apa lagi kita tengok? Ha, kita teng kena tengok fy lah. You look at fy. So we have one fy here and another fy here. Fy going up. This is the fourth going up. And the weight is going down. So what do you learn in physics? All right, what do you learn in physics? All right, you learn in physics that whenever we have uh, equilibrium, okay, we have equilibrium, okay, the upward force will be equal to downward force. Okay, daya ke atas sama dengan daya ke bawah. So downward force understood, it is going to be the weight of the object. All right, that's why you see the weight here. All right, upward force, we know we have two Fy. Betul tidak? Alright, we have two Fy. So we're going to put Fy plus another Fy. Alright, so you'll be able to see here. Alright, okay, we already have the Fy here. Please look at the top here, Fy. Alright, Fy kita sudah ada. Okay, T sine 60 darjah. And plus T sine 60 darjah. Then we have dua T sine 60 darjah. And 
Okay, weight is berat, diberi sebanyak 200. Ah kita masukkan sini. Alright, ah kita buat pengiraan. Ah itulah cara kita mendapatkan jawapan. Ah that's it. Okay, alright. Soalan keseimbangan daya or okay equilibrium in forces is a very simple chapter. Okay, you learn this then we go to the next part. Alright, okay. Thank you. I see you then.